Okay, you're here live. We're waiting on Jeff King to come in right now. Let's turn the camera around. We got a bunch of folks here in the VIP area. We got a birthday boy. Is it Ramy Smith's birthday? Hey, happy birthday and great job, man. Super proud of you. There's Ramy Smith, everybody. He had a really good run. There's Mason, my buddy. Now he's running away from me. There! One of my friends from Nome. We're in touch. Each year he comes out. Here's the media pen. And we are getting ready for Jeff King to come down the main drag. The siren went off about ooh, 10 minutes ago. And as soon as the police car down there hits his lights, that means that Jeff will be turning around and coming down the road. Uh, what I want to hear from you all, our online audience, who's been really dynamic lately, is tell us your Jeff King memories. Uh, where you remember uh, the years he won. You know, this guy is a legend. He, no, uh, Jeff King is on Front Street. Woo! Jeff King was born and raised in California. He came to Alaska in 1975 to quote-unquote seek adventure. He began mushing in 1976 after he heard Jerry Riley's race finish while listening to the radio. Jeff has an outstanding race record, including and four Iditarod victories. He has three adult, da adult daughters, Callie, Tessa, and Ellen, and all the girls have run the junior Iditarod, and Callie finished the Iditarod, and most recently a daughter competed in the Yukon Quest 300. All right, to the feet if you like. It's Jeff King coming, folks. These dogs are hopping, they're bounding, they're leaping. You'll see them real soon. Share the feed. Let's show everybody what Jeff King's dog looks like. 24th place, four-time I did a champion, the legend. We're not sure how many more times I'll be doing this. Let's so savor it. He's talking everybody about the Everybody help bring that dog team up to shoot. Oh yeah, look at them. <laughs> look at those lead dogs bounding in. Wow. Blasting the finish. Welcome that was to Dom, fast. Dad. <laughs> wow, well, there's Colby. Cody's big handler. Wow. Sorry, that gimbal is just out of power, guys. I got to just hold it now. That gimbal's shot, so. He's getting the snacks ready right away. Jeff's in the Nell with 12 dogs. We'll let him say hi to his animals before we check him in. Getting the snacks ready. Let's go down and see these guys. Hi. <laughs> this is a long string of dogs here. There's Jeff. <laughs> Handle Cody. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> These guys want to go. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Is that twelve dogs? Wow. There he is getting snacked up. Oh, boy, look how handsome. He's got 10 dogs. Can I have a beauty? 12-dog team. Hey, thank Little you. Little strips. Proud. Good looking dog, Jeff. Can I have a beauty? All right, look at these guys looking good. Jeff, can I take a peek at your sled and get you all checked in? <laughs> He's got so many dogs, they barely fit in the dog while here. Well dog. So I need to see a vet book. Thank you, sir. Is Nick sucking him out? Booty, sleeping bag. No shoes are tucked in. Let's get a signature. <laughs> Jeff, welcome to know. 11 days, 2 hours, 36 minutes, 42 seconds. Number 40, Jeff Higgs is 24th place. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Jeff. We're live on uh, K.
Anthony and Noam, congratulations. Well, thank you. It's nice to be here. Um, it's been a beautiful, terrible day, especially, and, and yesterday was great coming over from uh, So I smell bacon too. <laughs> Absolutely. And Jeff, so you compared this race to drawing heirloom tomatoes, and you said that you're going to you, you want to get there as fast as you can without rusting. How do you think those tomatoes ripened this year? Oh, I got a. I got a uh, wonderful team. I uh, you know, couldn't be more proud of them. You know, somewhere around midway in the race, I I got balled up in a, in a place without any help uh, and a long night and drifted trail. And um, I also dropped a couple of key dogs early and I just really wanted to um, make sure that I got here in style. Um, Considering I I had a the un, unplanned stop out there outside of Iditarod, and then uh, I have some young dogs that I really didn't think were going to come the whole way, uh, but in fact they did, and were big value since uh, I sent them over home. Anyway, um, been a um, interesting race, uh, lots of snow and. Um, you know, you really got to train for this, and uh, to train for this, you got to find snow like this, and a lot of us didn't find <laughs> snow like this. So, um, the, the trip over from Chattulik, uh, you know, I see on the paper, on the on the stat sheet, I had one of the fastest times, and yet it seemed like one of the longest nights of my life. Uh, really a tough, tough run, and... Uh, uh, always an adventure on the Iditarod, but I can say, uh, regardless of snow and uh, wind, I haven't been cold the whole way, and I'll take that over anything. <laughs> and you said you, you need more sleep and rest than you than you used to. How was your rest and physical condition on this trail? Oh, I, I feel great. I really have... Uh, uh, Got some good long rests by dog musher standards. I guess is a lot of you wouldn't want to keep up with us even when we get a lot of rests. But uh, I feel really, really great, and uh, I'm I'm thrilled. I feel very blessed to be here uh, and have uh, still have the motivation to go a thousand miles on a dog sled um, and uh, and enjoy it. And have you uh, used or invented any new or different gear this year? Well, um, yeah, I mean, uh, small things that are, are new. Uh, the runners I've used this year are four inches wide the whole way back, and they were really, really valuable in this trail. I'm so glad I had them. I know that it influenced the amount of energy my dogs needed to move the sled. I also have these stirrups that allow me to put my feet up when the trail's good. It feels really good to have your feet up uh, for a few minutes. Uh, I don't know, blood flow, something changes, but I've enjoyed those things, and and they're new. And tell us about tell us about this team uh, that you that pulled you in on this final quarter mile. Well, that's a hell of a nice dog team, uh, is what it is. They're uh, um, all veterans, but three. Uh, and the three young ones are, are sired and or so offspring of, of the key dogs actually that yeah. got dropped. And um, so, um, super nice dog team. I'm very proud of it. Uh, I've even been uh, sent a message to my daughter this morning saying, this is an awful nice looking Cobra 440 team. Do you want to take it? And she's going, yeah, man, I'll take it. And uh, so... Um, um, I want to congratulate uh, Yor, and I'm anxious to hear all the stories of the uh, mushers ahead of me. Uh, I know there must be some really great ones. Uh, it was a very, very impressive effort uh, and, and fun to watch from behind, but I really missed out on the details. Um, I want them to uh, invent a Garmin GPS that I can subscribe to the Insider on, so that I, can, I can watch. Uh, as the years go by, it's pretty clear I'm not interested in working as, or working as hard as it takes to keep up 
uh, with the likes of him and them. So uh, anyway, congratulations to them. It seems like a, a, a great race shirt. Enjoyed a lot of the, um, so many people along the trail. Um, I tell you, I pull into both Unitweed and Koyuk and have um, natives want my picture, the locals uh, calling me their champion forever and and can't we have a picture and it's just so flattering and I feel so lucky to be um, a part, to, to, to be idolized by some of the people on the trail and I, I want to um, always work to make sure I live up to that. And you still up for more idea rods? Well, um, you know, the temp, it, it's all in pencil, so, you know, it erases. But uh, uh, I have a daughter who's interested in um, running the Iditarod next year. And if she completes the 440 next month, she will be qualified, and that's the plan. And if so, I'd like to do a, a father-daughter trip up the trail. Um, I think that sounds like a, a wonderful thing. I have another daughter who ran the Iditarod in 2003, but... I was still pretty bent on getting here first, and uh, um, she uh, she made the trip in 30th place, and I made it in second, I believe, or second or third. But anyway, uh, if I go with Ellen, uh, I, I would love to do it, uh, be able to introduce her to the, some of my good friends along the way, and talk about, you know, pull into old woman and tell a few stories about remember the time Charlie Bolding climbed into bed with me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's the plan. We'll take them one at a time, but uh, I really have, uh, you know, I may not move as fast as I have in years gone by, but I've never felt better, that's for sure. If I knew 60 was going to be this fun, I'd have got here a lot sooner. <laughs> okay, well, we look forward to your congratulations, Jeff. Yeah, thank you. Everybody, Jeff King. Congratulations on your finish of snow. Again, 11 days, two hours. Okay, here's the real champion. Hi, guys. How's the team look, Nick? It looks good. It looks really good. Look Jesse, how's the team look? Oh, amazing. I lost them. <laughs> yeah, which one's buying? Yeah. Our number two, <laughs> number <laughs> seven finisher <laughs> right here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Jeff. There we go. Right on. Right on. <laughs> wow! Did you see that? They are sprinting. Sprinting. <laughs> here are the guys right here who have some team lines in their front lines. That's Nick Petit and Jesse Holmes right there at the finish line. Congratulating the king. Here are all the kids cruising around. Looking good. We got Brucey, our insider, our insider camera crew looking good. Our KT11, KTVA, they have amazing coverage of you are. Well, hey, Kale, Kale Casey, by the way, we, you've let us use some of your videos. I just wanted to introduce myself, John Thompson, say thank you very much, Kale Casey. We really appreciate it. Anytime. You're everywhere, man. Um, and you get great footage. <laughs> so, thank you. You bet. And what's it like been covering the race? Oh, it's been amazing. I mean, uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to be out on the trail. That was Dave Goldman and uh, and a couple other folks. But, you know, they do a great job on the trail. And then just being in Nome, getting to hear the stories of the finishers, getting to see these dogs across the line. So excited. So much good energy. So a lot of great vibes. Just great to be here. And are you on call? Or how does it work? Are you like me? You have to wake up every or not <laughs> yeah, even sleep? Pretty much, sleep, right? pretty much is that you're, you're hitting every finish, right? Yep, except so. for I missed you because you stepped in safety or you stayed in safety for a couple hours. Oh, okay. We waited up with Kelly Max and we waited up till about 6 a.m. and then just threw the towel. I got the alarm going and just <laughs> trying to play it by ear. But uh, yeah, nice thing is I'm staying at the Gold Nuggets. So, like, okay, right yeah, the right street, there right? where we are too. So, we told everybody on the last feed, like, that's the way to do it. Book this a year in advance, oh my right? Gosh. Absolutely. Join John and I, be here next year. Yeah, and then you hear those sirens when uh, when they come off. You, you throw on your long johns, get outside, and, and life is good. Get to celebrate. Right on. Well, thank you, John Thomas. Thank you guys you. can use anything anytime. We love what you do. Nonstop. Good storytelling. Nonstop. Come up to the uh, studio someday. I was going to say, next time you're in Anchorage, Kale, swing by. Okay. okay yeah, so I need to learn a bunch. Wait. <laughs> you mind if I like, sit in for a day? <laughs> no, I would love that. We would love that, man. No, very impressed with you, man. Cool. We, we thank appreciate you. it, especially That's for what kind. you do for sled dog racing in Alaska. I didn't expect that, but that's, so, I appreciate the plug. Thank Thanks, you. man. Right. right on. Here we are. We got we got these guys lingering around talking dogs. Let's give you one more look at the Iditarod 
curled arch where Jeff King has won four times. I got to hold my gimbal because the battery is, I uh, can't get it charged up enough these days. Rookie of the year right there, number two, Nick Petit. So we'll go ahead and, hey, that was really nice. Uh, I got to tell you, um, I've been filming a lot over the last six years. This channel that we are on right now is only about two weeks old. Uh, my personal page uh, has a ton of videos from last year and the, for Rendezvous in the ONAC and races around the world. So the uh, news agencies here in Alaska and uh, are actually everywhere. In Norway, they wanted some your footage. They, they write me messages and I always say, of course, we want the story out there. We want the good dog story, the transparency out there. Hey, I'm going to be joined by an absolute special guest, Rookie of the Year. Mr. Jesse Holmes in seventh place. Amazing come from behind. Yeah, How was it? We had an incredible race. It was, uh, at times I was, you know, concerned about the dogs and I was just really backing off and doing what was right by them. And I thought I was out of it really. I didn't think I'd even be in the top 20. Just trying to hang on and make it to know And all that care and all that time just got them dogs back on fire and started catching teams and kind of got back into it. You became the talk of the race. Are you? Everybody was saying, have you seen Jesse Holmes climbing up, climbing up? And I said, you know what? He showed a ton of patience, right? You did a lot of resting. You banked a lot of good energy. And those dogs love to run, don't they? Yeah, I mean, I, I know I got an awesome athletic team, and they love running, and, you know, they just, I just needed to take some time to build some more calories into them and keep them healthy and ended up paying off, and I kind of found a strategy that I really enjoy now. There you go, and you can see the comments here. Chaney Heger, congrats to the Rookie of the Year. You got, um, yep, they met Bill Cotter, and they know, look at that, Royce Duncan. Hey, Jesse, great job. So you got lots of love coming your way all throughout the feeds. People are asking about you, you know. The, the dogs are doing great. We just took them for a walk out on the sea ice, and they're really happy. And I don't think they ever got bummed out in the race, so they're just really going to be ready for next year. They're three years old. And, they want to, they'll be excited to come back and they'll know it's a lot of fun because their attitudes are really high everywhere. My attitude's really high. I didn't go to sleep till four in the morning. I was out dancing and <laughs> I just missed you too. I got out. We were covering some racers, right? We had the Lars and Michelle come in last night and some other races. I got into the bar finally at about 4 a.m. And they said, oh, he left 10 minutes ago. Yeah, but yeah. he was boogieing down. So I could only imagine that the relief of getting here... A lot of people just want to go to sleep, but I, I wanted to go out and show that I, I have Iron Man endurance and dance as late and as I possibly do, could. And you do, don't you? Yeah. Why I not? just wish I had some good fiddle dancing going on up here. Yeah, I know. It tends to be a little more... Uh, I was on the hip... It was the hip-hop. Hip-hop stuff yeah. here. Uh, come out to see Jesse on this feed. When I'll be following him. I always try to. He's just an amazing uh, athlete, and he's becoming one of the best-known mushing names in the world, up and coming. With a performance like this, seventh place I did a rod, rookie yeah. year. Wow. Yeah, thank you, God. Thank, yeah. God's good all the time. Yeah, and I know a lot of our audience appreciates that about you, that you're a man who, who does give it over to the big man above. Yeah. And uh, um, We're very small, and you really realize how small you are out there. And I think that's one of the beautiful things about the race is how humbling it is. Right on. Well, you got folks out there saying... You made your mark this year. So Angela Leo saying you made your mark this year, forced to be reckoned with in 2019. I'm with you about the fiddle music. <laughs> For real. Yeah, no, I we can, have I it can all. fiddle dance all night long. <laughs> right on. Thank you, Jesse. You're welcome. Good to see you. Thanks, Thanks. for joining us. All right, I'm going to actually uh, sign off here and spend some time giving Jesse a big high five again. I'm so proud of him. His handler, Eric, he's there right here. Going to give them some high fives. Thank you all. That was a really cool exclusive interview. Uh, none of this is really planned, folks. Folks, just come on and jump on and, and help us out, help this community grow. Jeff King's family will watch this uh, feed, and you all should realize that every one of these feeds will be watched by all the mushers because they want to see their dogs. They want to see what your comments are and what you have to say. So everything, all your things that I can't hit like on because I, my hands are frozen out here will be viewed by Ellen King, Jeff King. Uh, they'll, their, their crew at the Husky Homestead will check it out. They'll share it on their Facebook page. So... Just realize that you're part of something bigger here, too, and we really appreciate all that. So thanks so much. We'll see you soon, and I really just I love all the comments and support for Jeff and Jesse. Thank you.